In this video, we are going to look at work area. You access the work area from extended modeling and then the work area too. <coughs> so create work area, then there are there's a level of detail and then there are three icons here. We are going to cover all of them today. Okay, let's create a work area. So extended modeling, create work area. So I'm going to click on that. Then I have to pick two points. So one point here, another point here, and I'm going to accept that medium and hit enter. And our work, work point area, work area is created and then you can see the visibility of elements have changed. So I can toggle the visibility of elements by clicking this button. You can see work area is activated or inactivated. And also I can change the visibility of elements by clicking this button. When I am clicking this button only the elements within the work area is activated. And also the level of detail I can change medium or high or low. That is for the elements outside. So if I switch this one and level of detail low is that, medium is this and uh, high is this. We can have only one work area in the model. So if I try to create another work area, let's see what happens. So create work area, select here, select here and enter. So that work area is now redefined he here to where I have picked. So only one work area is possible in the model. So I, if I delete it, then the model returns to its original visual properties. Hi guys, thank you for watching the video and if you like the video, please subscribe.